This is a new type of Let's Larp video. Let's call it a get to know Balenor type of video. There is something that many of you do not know. I've been a king, at least in Amp Guard, the live action role playing game that I play. Holding office has actually been a really large part of my LARP journey. My first Amp Guard office was in 1999 as a local regent. Since then, I've held many offices, both local and at the kingdom level. My last office was in 2019. Outside of those who know me personally, or maybe those who have heard of me through my connections in Amp Guard, you probably have no idea who I am. Even then, I've been around for so long, many of the Amp Guardians who do know me only know a sliver about my time in the game. Recently, a long-term knight in our community, Sir Short Round, made a suggestion that inspired this video. He suggested I add some leadership content to my channel. While this video is not strictly about leadership, it got me thinking, what do people actually know about me in my time in this game? If all you know about me comes from my LARP channel, then you're missing out a whole bunch about who I am in the community. I've been in this game for over 20 years, and I've had many different focuses within that time, which has led me to making this video. With this video and future videos, you'll learn more about who I am and what I've done in AmpCard. Hopefully this will give people a better understanding of the resource everyone has in me. In this video specifically, you'll learn about how I started AmpGuard, my first taste of leadership in the game, and hear about some of the early history of my first holding, Sylvan Fen. I started AmpGuard in 1999. In fact, the first camp I'd ever went to was the very first Pacific War. At the time, it was also known as the Great Northwest War II, the Apology. Uh, there's a story there, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, the Pacific War is the longest running event in the Pacific Northwest AmpGuard scene. I also consider Pack War my marker for how long I've been in Amcard. It was also the event I was knighted at. I held my 20th anniversary there, and there was even a cake. For the longest time, people have viewed me as the feast guy. And while that is true, that's me. However, when I started Amcard, being the feast guy never really occurred to me. The very first thing I did in Amcard was start a holding. I was 16, I wanted to sword fight, and so I did the way a lot of us did before we found the hobby, which was with PVC and pipe insulation. I modeled it after some people I had seen in a park a few years earlier. After a few months of fighting in my yard, eventually we found out about Amp Card from our local comic book slash game store owner, Jay. I remember the day he and my friends met up at the park for the first time. We brought our PVC and pipe insulation swords. Jay chuckled knowing that this was what most people's first weapons were and then introduced us to a proper, safer buffer weapon. I had a lot less bruised knuckles after we started using those uh, proper amp guard weapons. I don't exactly recall how long we met at the park before we became part of amp guard. I think it was only a few months. However, I do remember the night we came up with the name of our holding. We were hanging out at our friend Joel's house. In amp guard, he went by Brother James. He was our first and best local prime minister. He had it all laid out in an Excel sheet and was able to print out records as necessary. Mind you, this is before the online record keeper was created. That night, we sat around brainstorming names. Eventually, though, through the aid of an old English dictionary, we came up with the name Sylvan Fen. It translates to Wooded Bog. It fit our summer park perfectly. It was surrounded by trees, and there was a stream running through it. We only used it in the summer because the creek, small in the summer, flooded the whole park come winter, turning it into, guess what, a wooded bog. We were particularly proud of the name at the time. By the spring of 1999, Sylvan Fen was officially in Amp Guard and I was the first regent. I had my heart set on being the first sheriff of our group, but I was too young to be the one to sign the contract. So I started my first day of Amp Guard holding the office of regent, but my time in the office was very short-lived. The guy who had taken the position of the holder had to step down midway through his term, and as regent, I replaced him. After my term as pro tem sheriff was over, I was elected to a proper full term as sheriff. One particular memory during the term really sticks out in my mind. We were either having a coronation or a mid rain I don't remember exactly which it was. I do remember that it was very cold that day. We had rented some gas heaters and tried to put up tarps on the shelter to create walls. It didn't really work, but we tried. It wasn't just cold that made it memorable. This was the event that we voted on which Kingdom Soul and Finn was going to join. We were smack dab in the middle of two kingdoms. If we went an hour North, we'd be in Mystic Seas, and if we went in half an hour southwest, we'd be in the kingdom of the Valley of Silver Rains. I remember them being two very distinct groups. Mystic Seas had a much stronger emphasis on foam combat, while VSR seemed to focus more on roleplay and class battle games. 
We were generally in the agreement that after talking with some people from VSR and Mystic Seas about each group's award standards, we felt that VSR was a little too lax on their requirements for awards. I realized years later when AmpGuard created the latter award standardization and I saw for the first time the perspective of award levels outside of the Pacific Northwest AmpGuard scene, that when it came to giving awards, we were much too harsh on Sylvan Venn. That perspective led to a lot of early members of our park having less awards than they probably should have had at the time. I know I was a victim of our high award standards. For the first several years of my amp guard career, I was really big into foam smithing. I was trying new things, making light, balanced weapons for, well, at least for the time. People often came to me for advice in crafting their weapons, yet I didn't even get my first owl until 2018. <laughs> Anyways, I remember at the event we had discussed amongst our members about the pros and cons for each kingdom. As you probably suspected, we were more aligned with Mystic Seas when it came to our idea of award standards. But that wasn't the only thing. Our park also had an emphasis on foam combat. Although, I'll let you in on a little secret, we also like to roleplay from time to time. Those two differences aside, the biggest difference, and the one that I remember being the most important to the group, was that Mystic Seas would give us autonomy. Well, VSR would not. Mystic Seas was a static crown. That meant if you wanted to have a say in Mystic Sea politics, you had to go to the main park in Portland. That left the subsidiary groups pretty much to their own devices. Sylvan Finn was the only park in the Northwest that actually wanted that level of autonomy, not that we realized it at the time. Why did that even matter, you might ask? Well, before the days of version 7 of the Amcor rulebook, each park seemed to have their own interpretation of the rules. We valued our ability to run our group how we'd like to and to make clarifications that we thought would make sense to us. I remember that Sylvan Fenn's interpretation of shot in motion, as well as the minimum diameter required for weapon tips, ended up being what was adopted in version 7. I remember that there was other things we ruled on that were also adopted in version 7, but for the life of me, I can't remember what any of the other ones were. As you probably figured out, we voted for Mystic Seas. Personally, I was torn. I didn't know which one I wanted more. On paper, Mystic Seas made sense for our group, but we had spent more time with the folks of VSR. It may not seem like it now, but back then, despite the fact I considered myself something of a stick jock, I also enjoyed being a flirt from time to time. I enjoyed roleplay in between the two groups. I only remember roleplaying with those people from VSR. Not to mention, people from VSR and Sylvan Fen frequently traveled between the two groups. Surprising many of our friends of VSR, Mystic Seas did make an honest effort to visit our group as well. The problem, of course, at least for me, was that it was harder to get to Portland than it was to get to VSR's closest park in McMinnville. Those two facts were not lost on me when we went to vote. I ended up earning my Lord title for my first full term of Sheriff. It was given to me by Tyrick, the only knight that I've actually taken the time to ask to have been their squire. Although that didn't happen yet. Uh, he did turn me down, by the way. That led to me deciding to go it alone with my path in Amcor Knighthood. Well, maybe not alone, but without joining any knightly built alliance. There is plenty of good story there, but that's a little bit out of the scope of this video. When I got my award, I was surprised and ecstatic. I was the first person to be given a title in Sylvan Fend, something in terms of Amcor I was pretty proud of. I spent the next two years in various offices in Sylvan Fend. I was in office when we became a barony, and I was Sylvan Fend's first baron. I earned my baronet title for that term. I then did another term as regent, and after that, I finally took a break from office, a six month break. Then I was back in office. So yeah, like I said, the first thing I did in Amcard was hold an office. I was very dedicated to Sullivan Fen, and I was proud of what we were able to accomplish. It was a refreshing reality away from the mundane life that I was living. I continued to be an officer in Sullivan Fen until the end. Between 2002 and 2007, I held five more offices, cumulating being the holdings last baron. Our last meeting was in 2007, and we were dissolved in 2008. On day one, I caught the taste for leadership, and I've never lost the enjoyment of that flavor, even to this day. I've held offices since Sylvan Fen was dissolved. In fact, the very first one after Sylvan Fen was King of Blackspire, but nothing will compare to those years in Sylvan Fen. So thank you for joining me for this first Get to Know Bailmore video. Did you learn anything about me that surprised you or anything that you didn't expect? Uh, is there anything that you want to learn about me in future videos? Uh, please comment below. And while you're at it, 
you can like and subscribe if you feel like it. It would really help out the channel, and I would really appreciate it.